when you have a disease like cancer, you want to know what's going to cure it. Is it going to go away? My name is Bob Ribbons. I'm 67 years old. I'm retired. I was in the golf course industry for some 46 years. That's one reason the melanoma started way back. Didn't wear a hat back then. And right now, I retired in 2006 to stay on the farm and work the farm and raise the uh, packets. I'm always bumping my head for one reason or another. And there was a scab that formed on top of my head. And I didn't know what it was. And I kept, kept putting ointment on it, band-aids and whatnot. And it wouldn't go away. So then I decided, well, I, my wife said, you better go see a dermatologist. So I always listened to my wife. So I went to see a dermatologist, did a biopsy. And I remember the phone call. It was standing at the foot of my bed upstairs. He said, Bob, this is Dr. Coleman. He says the test came back positive for melanoma. That was pretty dramatic. It was hard to take. So then, of course, I called my wife right away and told her. And from then on, we started looking at options. We scheduled the only thing they could do back then was do surgery. So this was on the top of my head with a melanoma. And what they did was a skin graft, probably three and a half, four inches in diameter that they did the surgery. And after that, the doctor told me that it's a pretty good chance, you know, 60-40 that the melanoma is not gonna come back. Well, that's too close to 50-50 for me. So I was obviously very concerned we both were. A few months after the surgery, some lesions appeared inside the graft. And they said, well, we can't do another skin graft inside the graft. So then I had radiation treatment. And it was three times over a six week period. The melanoma lesions did disappear. In July of 2009 is when I had the radiation. But then in December of 2009, there were lesions that appeared on my forehead outside the radiated area. Went back to the doctor and he says, well, there's nothing more we can do for that. That's not what I wanted to hear. So it just so happens that my wife was talking to one of her colleagues on the phone. We were on vacation. So he said, well, I understand there's a clinical trial going on out in St. Luke's in Pennsylvania. That's how I got involved in the clinical trial. There's a lot of apprehension. You don't know if it's going to, it's a trial. You never know the outcome until it's over. I was kind of apprehensive. The ride out there only took us, took us an hour, but the first time going out there, it felt like it took eight hours. It was just, you know, a lot of tension, a lot of stress. I had four lesions on my forehead that appeared. And then we made an appointment to go back out about three weeks later, when we went back out, there were two more lesions that appeared, so it was six altogether. What they started to do was inject each individual lesion. Back then, it was called Oncovex. I went out there every two weeks from January through April, and all the lesions did finally disappear. So after the injections were done in my forehead, and that was in April of 2010, about two months later, I was out bailing some hay. The next morning I woke up and there was a, a lump on my neck about the size of a dime. I didn't know what that was. So I figured, well, let me call St. Luke's and take a ride down there. So they did a biopsy. It was a lymph node. And the biopsy came back, few viable melanoma cells present with extensive tumor necrosis. The TVEC actually works systemically in my system. Two, three months after my last injection, melanoma had infected a lymph node in my neck and this was still in my system, it worked systemically, and it was killing the melanoma. They did want me to come back for more injections just to make sure. They didn't want to wait and see if it went away. And then they had the lymph node removed, and there's no melanoma there. As far as I'm concerned, I'm cured. It's a complete response, I guess is the right terminology. It's a mysterious disease, and it needs to be addressed, and I couldn't be more grateful for the fact that there are clinical trials out there, because I wouldn't be here if there wasn't a clinical trial. I would not be here because there was nothing else anybody could do. I have two grandsons, one's 13, one's 10. I want to be able to hold my great-grandchildren in my arms. That's what I hope for.